Hello everyone. We are here with another very important feature of Excel that is called pivot table. Pivot table is one of the most important features of Excel if there is a need of analysis of data in a quick and structured manner. Any given data can have many hidden insights which may be very important for decision making. Getting on with pivot table is very quick and easy. You can use pivot table to analyze everything in your data. Let us start by little change in your data set. We need to make sure that every column has a column heading. If we change this data set in tabular view, then pivot table will refresh after adding rows and columns with the new data included. To do that, select first row and press Ctrl plus Shift plus down arrow. Next, go to Insert tab and press Table. You will now notice that it is already filled with the selected cell. So, we can just press OK and our table is now created. After creating table, you need to go to the Insert tab and click on Pivot Table. Now in the window box that appeared, data range is our table name. The new sheet option is selected. Now we can press OK and we see a new sheet that has opened containing the created pivot table. You can see all column headings on the right side of the screen are given and below that the following four boxes. Filter, Row Heading, column heading and values. Now from pivot table field, we will drag and drop city in row selection and sales in value selection. Pivot table is now ready. We can do some changes here that will be very useful in analyzing data. From the pivot menu, the calculation selections, click on field, items and sets, and select calculation field. On the new box that has appeared, we can see name and field and formula. The name you can change to sales in legs. In formula, remove zero from there and choose from below given field like I have selected sales by clicking the insert field button below and put slash from your keyboard and type 1 lakh. Click OK. Now as you can see there are two sales values. Remove the older sales values. And now data is clean and readable in lakhs. Now we will insert another thing called a slicer. You can find slicer in pivot menu. Go to pivot menu and click on insert slicer. From the check boxes that appear, select city, brand, month and distributor. Now from the pivot menu select pivot chart and then columns or bar chart then add data labels. We are almost done and we can analyze the data now. We will start by checking city wise data and chart which includes checking which city is best and which is with lower sales. We will replace city with brand and check which brand is performing high and whichever is performing low. We will replace brand with month and now we can see month wise flow of sales. Now we can deep dive with drag and drop all in row selection.
keeping cursor at last item in pivot menu bar observe expand and collapse collapse all ones and we can again see data at city level now we will select one city from slicer and we will expand that city to see brand performance After observing brand by selecting from slicer and expand brand to see month wise sales. Now we can select one brand from slicer and expand month to see distributed by its contribution in that month. Overall this is one of the best tool to analyze data and deep dive and get some insight from the data we have with practice you can become an expert of pivot table hope you found this helpful thank you very much